So right now, what you're doing now is the causation of what you are doing right now in a past life. You still exist in the past. You're doing stuff in your past life right now. The whole you didn't leave the past. This is only a fraction of you. This right here is a vacation. But when you get here, they tell you, don't like money, don't do this shit. Just sit here and get your heaven when you leave. And then to find out that ain't no goddamn heaven out here. <laughs> it was your subconscious all along. You know what I'm saying? So when studying the pyramids and what we call Africa today, you are analyzing a system that was set up by a group of spiritual entities that existed in the underworld for over 132,000 years ago in which they still do exist today. These entities exist today. The giants and all of that, the Omex, they here. They find in their heads, but that's just a sign to let you know we still here, motherfucker, and we on the way back in the form of energy. They ain't coming back in a physical form, though. They're coming back in energy. Just like we gonna leave here and be somewhere else in another form, they coming back here in another form to get paid back. All right. Jeez. These pyramids, or what I call great airports, were built by Africans who at a time had the capacity of utilizing more of their brain power than what you see us using today. These Africans or extraterrestrials did not live in this part of the planet year round. They would come from one planet to another to build civilizations or they would go to the most deepest part of their dream world, which is our reality, and build things in their dreams that would appear on the earth realm to be discovered later by scientists and others who dwell on the earth at the time. So what they find out today even the, the, the Omex and all that, the heads and all of that, they finding that from something that we built in a dream. Mm. Or they finding that from a, a place that's existing in our dream somewhere, and they using portals to say that they discovered it here. No, you brought that shit back from another portal. The portal opened for 12 seconds, 12 to 14 seconds. And you can get a, in time in another portal, you could travel more faster than you are here. So you could pick up so much physical things from another portal and bring it back here in such short time. Then when you're here, I can go next door and it'll take me three hours to clear the whole house out. If I take that house and put it in another portal, it'll take me maybe a minute or a few seconds to clear the house out. Because time is what predicts, what well, motion is what predicts time. Without motion, there is no time. Mm -hmm. So the faster the light, the faster you travel where that light is traveling at a fast rate. Is that why they can't explain the omics and the pyramids? They'll never be able to explain that. <laughs> they're afraid. They acting like they ain't scared. They're afraid. They bluffing. They pulling ass, as we say, in our, in our community. They pulling ass. But we're going to get to it. We're going to get to this shit here. Um, <clears throat> it says, one is tuning. All right, this underworld has two ways of channeling the different classrooms within this third dimension. One is tuning into the different seasons which, is allow, which allow these beings to come out for a specific time to build between these two worlds. The stones of the pyramids are heavy here, but where these entities or extraterrestrials reside, the comparison is weight is much lighter than here on this earth plane. What we call the summer solstice today in their time, where there were no Europeans in existence, these extraterrestrial or Africans-like beings, who we call today Africans, will utilize the gravitational shift from the sun which caused the motion of objects to create lighter communication from the vibration of the sun's shift. Just as horizontal gene transfer has a lot to do with the evolving process, you have horizontal energy transfer which occurs and must be balanced according to thermodynamics and physical principles. Mm. These include the transfer and balance of mass, momentum, and moisture. We look at wet stuff and say, oh, it's just wet, we'll wipe it off. <laughs> but, yo, it's powerful. And I'm gonna get to it tonight. The movement of yeah, heat. What I say about the sweat. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Did That's I you. say I love the sweat? I feel like <laughs> That's a good thing. All right. All right. These include the transfer and balance of mass, momentum, and moisture. The movement of heat involves the movement of air, sensible heat, and moisture or va water vapor, e vapor, transpiration. If a packet of air moves from the equator to the poles, this air must be replaced by colder air returning from the poles, having released its heat. In other words, the fluxes of air masses at specific locations around the Earth must be in perfect equilibrium with the universe. Meaning, at that time, since we lacked man-made satellites, the energy of your mental capabilities were much more higher. They got satellites to suppress your mental capability. You can, you can levitate. You can do telekinesis with no problem. It's just that they notice and they create satellites and your trees outside right here. These trees are artificial. We ain't got no more real grass and trees. These satellites attacking us. They can send signals through your trees while you sleep at night and attack you in your dream. That's right. You get what I'm saying? So, now, it's a, 
And we know that at, a at that time, without even using any scholarship, that there were no genetically modified energy or foods transported throughout the diaspora of what we call Africa that would cause the energy field of the African mind to subdue them from the attaining these physical abilities and spiritual abilities. When you study the stones on Mars, you will find that the weight of these stones when brought to Earth are lighter and can be transported at a specific season where they can be moved easily from one geographical area to another with no problem. Mm. Every 9,000 years, these stones are easily accessed by certain portals that opens up in certain parts of the Earth, of which many locations, what they call Earth, have been tapped into by NASA. Most of these portals where they have the CERN project machines set up in the Earth. So this is why they got them set up to interrupt with the light. Because we light beings, for real. Mm. So when you hear the Moors say, we really white, please forgive them. We're not talking mm. about being white people. We're talking about being light beings. It goes beyond color. We're not crayons. We're more than crayons. It's just That's just a, a classification that puts you in a box so that they can identify you on a stock exchange to make money off of you every time you get a job. Every time you sign up for assistance, every time you go for a divorce, you get what I'm saying? It's a classification. We won't go into that's another lecture when we're talking about contracts and stuff like that, but we can go into that now. <clears throat> this is the article from the CERN. The CERN project was set up to intercept the dreams of melanated beings on this earth realm. The CERN machine that the government had implanted in the various time zones in America had the capability to open up certain portals during paradigm shifts to intercept the DNA information coming in from other dimensions that is changing the brain capacity of us melanated beings. This information is traveling through bodies of new energy into the dream world of these melanated beings to give them mental capabilities to tap into powers that would allow us to occupy the minds of these hybrid beings and utilize an MK ultra light mind control without using any microchips or heart systems. Meaning that it's gonna come a point in time where you can sit in a room and you can open up your thoughts and attack the mind and tell that white person, go jump off the fucking window. <laughs> it's going to happen. Yeah. This is what they're afraid of. They see all of this. I'm showing you what they see. You ask why they're doing this, I'm showing you why they're doing it. I'm, I'm telling you why they're doing this because I'm telling you the shit that we're going to be able to do within the next five to ten years, they know it already. They just studied the astrological systems. When you study astrology, you can see things 20 to 50 years ahead of time. This is how they elect their presidents. 10, 20 years ahead of time to carry out their agenda. You get what I'm saying? So we're about to become some, some bad motherfuckers, hmm. if you want to put it that way. Now, this is a threat not only to the hybrids, but to the reptilians. This is why they have initiated the CERN machines to intercept these new energies by infiltrating your dreams to keep you from meeting up with these energies. The pyramids that they buried is information centers as well that they are trying to tap into this as well. They're trying to tap into the pyramids because it's creating something as well. It is no coincidence that these pyramids found not only in Africa, but in different time zones within the United States and on other planets. These pyramids are in the jurisdiction of light that has a higher density, and wherever there are certain shapes or objects in the jurisdiction of light and with higher density, depending on the mind state and DNA of an individual, these individuals can transfer their thoughts as a way of telecommunication from one dimension to another. Light in the form of energy can change the density of an atom, causing it to be transferred from one space to another, which when you study the pyramids in Africa, you will find that the space they are aligned in is in perfect harmony with the light forms of energy with those pyramids on Mars. Mm. You can transfer objects by way of sound through the density of light. Sound is a mechanical wave and travels by compression and rail fraction of the medium. Its velocity is an elastic medium and it's proportional to the square root of tension in the, inside of that medium. A higher density leads to more elasticity in the medium and hence the ease by which compression and rail fraction can take place. This way, the velocity of sound increases by increase in density. Light, on the other hand, is a transverse electromagnetic wave. It does not depend on the elastic property of the medium in which it travels. Its velocity in a medium is determined by the electromagnetic dielectric properties of the medium. Effective path lengths, on the other hand, is increased by increase in the density, and hence it leads to higher refractive index and lower velocity. The higher the density in light, the faster the sound molecule within that light. And it will travel, creating a higher vibration, which allows physical objects to, to be moved from one space to another, or from one dimension to another. 
The same stones that is found on Mars you can find in Africa, which these stones is very identical to the stones of these pyramids that you find in Kemet, which they call NWA-998 and NWA-1195 stones. These are the pyramid stones. So where did they come from? If they came from Mars, they came from another dimension. How did they get here? Shit fall. Every time we have a paradigm shift, we got shit falling out from other dimensions through portals. And, they, and what they do, they discover it and they build on it. Right? <clears throat> so, when you go to Africa, you are not on the same third dimensional plane as you are here in what they call America. This is why as melanated beings, we are more healthier and stronger being closer to the equator which has its force field surrounding that geographical area. At the time that the pyramids were built, there was another season in that area that allowed those Africans to utilize their melanin to open certain portals to bring in and take out different energy fields of stone structures from different planets using horizontal energy transfer, not gene transfer, but that exists. <clears throat> when you dream, you are going into parts of these dimensions to build things in certain parts of the earth realm that will be discovered by other people in this life. It may be a hundred years from now, but it will be discovered. When you dream, you go to places that is either new or you may have been there before. You may dream that you are in your house, but really you are somewhere else. The reason it may appear that you are dreaming that you are in your house is because this is where you are living at the moment, therefore it is embedded within your subconscious. Dimensions is made up of distance and time. Distance and time. So if I travel from the east coast on this time zone to the west coast to their time zone, I'm traveling from one dimension to another. It's no coincidence that people have different languages everywhere you go within these so-called states and corporations. You get what I'm saying? So. Let's go. Where was that? Okay. This is why when you go into these different time zones, the people have different slangs and distinct thought patterns of psychology. When it comes to geography, the white man has taught you that the continents were none other than different states and countries with different time zones, when in actuality, this is a lie. For an example, I just said this. On the west coast of what we call America is a planet that is masquerading as a city that is made up of reptilians who are abducting bodies and masking themselves as human beings. <coughs> Hollywood is not part of any state. Hollywood is a planet that has been inhabited by a reptilian bloodline for hundreds of years, maybe even thousands. Mm. <clears throat> and that area that we know as California are underground bases where those who go to become celebrities who are real humans are body snatched and cloned for the sole purpose of the reptilian infiltration within that society. These reptilians cannot come into society unless they occupy the body of a human being. When I say human, I'm talking about a so-called black body, a melanated body. There is a blue pyramid off the coast of the Pacific Ocean that these reptilians are trying to tap into, but even in a body, the energy is rejecting these beings because it is the pyramids that transfer certain energies of information that is needed to tap into higher dimensions. <clears throat> these are teleport stations. Just like you go into the airport, the, the air station, you know what I mean? And you go from one state, one country to another. This is how our ancestors travel. But their physical body wouldn't leave the pyramid. It was their mental state that left the pyramid. So they would say something over and over and over in that pyramid. And just like you rub your hand, friction, you create fire with two sticks. If you keep chanting over and over again, you are creating something in that pyramid because the pyramid is aligned with a certain light that will suck in those thoughts when they get to a certain degree. So when it gets to a certain degree, meaning in heat, which is energy, it will suck those thoughts and transfer it to another pyramid somewhere, and somebody will pick up on it and send you a message back. This is this what we do with cell phones. How can I talk to you in Africa from a cell phone over here? That's little shit. We did that spiritually. That ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um, time and distance measures the different dimensions. So when you travel to different continents, you are traveling from one planet to another due to the density of light that changes throughout the time zones that you enter. The energy of the beings in these time zones are different. The bodies appear to be real because we are residing within a third dimensional realm. The physical bodies may appear to look the same, but the souls are of different extraterrestrial DNA. Even, black, even some black people have different extraterrestrial DNA, so-called so black people. Every black face is not from the same spiritual tribe or family. Your planet identifies your, your, your spiritual kinship. 
So they give you a sun sign and tell you this is what you are, bullshit. It goes deeper than that. And tonight I wish I had my chart with me because I will be able, I will have enough time to actually read everybody and tell you where your family come from. Not to mold goddamn, um, <laughs> what you say, when you go to white man, I want to find my shit. You know what I mean? Like, you want to white people to tell them, I want you to go to ancestor.com. Them motherfuckers don't even know who they are. They still trying to find out how old they are. <laughs> this is why when you go into Genesis, Adam and Eve are a new people with a different gene. They are not the first people. That's why I was in Genesis. Take Genesis and take the word S-I-S off the word Genesis. Mm. The word becomes what? Change. And a gene is something that you use to identify a particular characteristic of somebody or something. So they were the first people, but the first people were a different genetic, physiological, and biological system. This is what Adam and Eve was. You know what I'm saying? But even then, though, you can look at it in another perspective <coughs> because the woman... Well, I ain't going to go into religion right now, but we're, we're going to that. I'm going to finish this off, and then we'll come back to that shit. Because, you know, like I said, when you're doing something, you have demons that's around you trying to throw you off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you have to stay grounded because your ancestors are trying to keep you on one path, and you got another energy trying to direct you to another path, so we're going to stay on this path. All right. Um, where was we at? <clears throat> the dream world has four gates, which is the four elements that creates the melanin which holds the information that comes in by way of photosynthesis from those pyramids inside of the sun. Uh-oh, pyramids inside of the sun. The pyramid in one body has three points, and it is the sun. And this is where Christians get the concept of the sun rising on the third day. The sun rises to distribute energy on the three points of the pyramid. The, three, the pyramid has three points. Christ rose on the third day. Your melanin is being produced through a pineal gland, which we call the third eye. And when you draw it, from here to here, and from here to here and back up, is a pyramid. So they got you on back of a dollar, masquerading your spirituality, and got you selling your soul for a piece of paper that's only imitating you from a physical standpoint. You got money all in your soul, but your money is your peace. I can be homeless, have peace, and don't worry about what the fuck these rich people know, because they go to sleep unhappy, killing each other, doing the biggest crimes ever. They don't have no peace. You can, you mean, it's good to have money to sustain. Not saying don't have money, but have it to sustain. You don't want to sound like some goddamn hustler-ass preacher telling you, don't get money, give it to me, goddamn it. Because even the Bible said the money is the root to evil, but it's ass collecting it. You know what I'm saying? So, like I told a pastor um, a few weeks ago, he said, I watch your video, so what is it that you have against Christianity and God? I said, I don't have anything against it. It's just that I'm asking questions now, whereas my mother told me not to ask questions, so I'm asking you to provide a bank account with the name God on it, and I'll give you money to put in that account when you show me God in a bank account with God's name on it, because nine times ten, if I go to that bank account, it's going to have what's on that 501c3 that you set up with the IRS, which is, in, which is in jurisdiction with the IMF, the International Monetary Fund System, which initiates the war. So me giving you money, you kicking my people out of the black communities. You get what I'm saying? You, the money that you, that, the money that we give it to you, you put into corporations to come in and kick that old lady out of the church who's been there for 50 years, giving you 